media report of the special prosecutor spans the 1st of August to the 31st of December 2022. Within the period, some successes have been achieved, which include a 12% rise in the revenue generation of the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Customs Division, due to a directive that was given by the special prosecutor to the GRA to halt all auction sales of vehicles. The launch and the use of an e-auction platform by the Ghana Revenue Authority enabled it to save and increase revenue for the state. Two investigations have been concluded, one of it being the accusation that was leveled against Charles Bissu when he was the secretary of the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, where he was accused of using his office for personal gains. The Office of the Special Prosecutor says further directive or action will be issued regarding that matter. The other issue that has been concluded in terms of investigation is the corruption that was leveled against the Northern Development Authority. Uh, they issued a contract to A and QS Consortium. The Office of the Special Prosecutor says an action will be issued regarding that as well. Cases which are still under investigation include that of Charles Edubwahin, former Minister of State at the Finance Ministry, who, according to Tiger IPI's investigation, was involved in a corruption-related issue. Another is the allegation that a wealthy businessman attempted to bribe NPP NPs in Parliament to coerce them from pushing for Ken Oforiata, the Finance Minister, to be sacked. These are among the 120 cases that are currently still under investigation by the OSP. But generally, how has Kisi Ejabeng, the special prosecutor, and his office fared in Ghana's fight against corruption? I 